Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be taking a look at how you can choose which tracks you are exporting as stems. So this is something you pretty commonly need to do, particularly if you're working remotely, because somebody maybe have sent you some stems and you've recorded some things and you only want to send back the things that you've worked on rather than everything, because they might think, oh, maybe they've made some edits to it. And it's it's just good practice to do that. And also, if you're working on a project, you may not want to send everything out because maybe it's not ready for public consumption. Either way, we're going to look at a couple of different ways that you can do this. The first one is really simple. The second one will persist across multiple sessions. So you can choose which one works for you. So the first way to do it, just select the tracks that you actually want to send as stems. And then when you go to audio mix down, you can just click this button here. So this is sync selection to channel track selection. And lo and behold, those tracks have turned up here. You can do your export. Nice and easy, away you go. So this second method will persist across multiple sessions because obviously it's really easy to deselect a track and then you don't know which ones you were supposed to be sending. So here, I'm just gonna remake that selection and I'm gonna color these tracks. So I'm gonna color them in red so it really stands out. And obviously that's a bit of an eyesore visually. So I would probably then color the actual events on the parts back to what they were before to make it slightly less of an eye gouging experience when recording. Obviously you could have chosen a nicer color than absolute red. So there we are, the project looks like it did before, but now these will be easily selectable in the audio mix down project. So what I'll do is I'll just unselect them here so we don't cheat. We go to audio mix down. I'm gonna untick that here, but then they're nice and easy to find because they're bright red. So we just select those as we want here and then we're good to go. So that will be fairly straightforward. That's step two. Now there is step two and a half, which we're gonna look at, which is actually doing this automatically in terms of selecting those tracks. So this kind of combines the two. So let's look at how you can do that. So what would be nice would be an automatic way of selecting these colored tracks. And it is actually possible in Cubase using the project logical editor. This isn't something I've covered a great deal or probably at all on the channel, but this is uh, an instant knockdown use for it. It's fairly easy to set up. So I'm gonna go to project, project logical editor, and then set up. And because you can save this as a preset, it's, it's even more of a knockdown thing. So we're just gonna create this from scratch. So the first thing you're gonna do is do insert, and then media type is equal to audio. So that's the first line. Now we're gonna insert another line, and then we're gonna change it. So we're gonna change it here to color name, leave it on equal, and then we're gonna name it the color which we've got here. So in this case, because it's red and I'm using the default colors, it's color 16, spelt the American way. So I'm gonna put in color 16. And then importantly at the bottom, we're gonna just do select. So we've got media type is equal to audio, color name is equal to color 16, and then select set here. And if I hit apply, there we go, you can see that those tracks which are colored red are selected. And now if we go back and use method one as it were, so go to audio mix down, all I need to do is click that, we're good to go. Now you can save that as a preset if you want, wish to do so. And obviously if you were clever with your color scheme, you could have multiple different sets of these exports that you could choose very quickly with a project logical editor preset. I'll leave you to, uh, to expand on that and do it in your own way. But this is a quick way that I found to, to do this. And it means that I don't need to worry about what I'm doing because effectively the, the project has remembered it for me. Hopefully you found one of those two stroke two and a half methods useful. And we'll see you again soon for more music tech tuition.